Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a Scorpio reading who is dealing with fellow water sign, okay? If you are Scorpio dealing with Cancer, Scorpio yourself and a Pisces, this is your reading. It could be sun sign or moon sign, all right? What is the message for Scorpio dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun and moon, all right? This is the message for you, Scorpio, for the second week of November 2020. Scorpio friends, dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, and a Pisces energy. This is for you. I'm a Scorpio, Sun, Mercury, and my Moon is in Sagittarius. So I've decided to launch this video exclusively for Scorpio or this channel to focus on Scorpio energy. What can I get for Scorpio dealing with a fellow water sign, please? Second week of um, November. This is a love reading. Okay, all right. Let's start the reading, Scorpio friends. So we'll start with... Uh, the cards on top. You've got Eight of Wands, the full card. You've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Swords in upright position. Um, I feel like Scorpio, this is your energy. In the first reading, I feel Scorpio that you are ready. You're busy with your life. You're ready, Eight of Wands. Um, astrologically, I really feel like we've been stuck over the last two to three weeks. After November 11, after today, things are going to be moving um, very quickly for us. So I like that the full card in the Eight of Wands, it's back to back in here, sitting in your energy, Scorpio. You're going to take a risk with a person, a situation, a love interest that would come your way. You're ready, okay? Um, the first opportunity that I'm seeing for you, Scorpio, dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Piscean energy, there was a missed opportunity. It took place around the month of September, um, around the month of January, and for some of you, May. So June, sorry, yeah, May, June. So there is a January energy. That was the last time you had a conversation, or that was the kind of... The connection where, you know, it stopped. So January month, May and June and September month. This is the missed opportunity that took place around those months, time frame, timeline. To a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. They're open to talk. And your energy is taking a risk as well. Let's get the clarifying card. What is the action? What is the next action? Who will reach out? Because you're ready, Scorpio, and so are they. They're ready to bring back the connection again. Who will reach out? Oh, I'm seeing the Eight of Wands in your energy, Scorpio. You might follow up with this person. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, it could be you. It could be them. But because this is um, a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Who was the last text? Someone will reach out. I could not identify Scorpio because I feel like you're ready and your person is open to communicate as well. And both of you have moved on. So there is a reconnection that would take place. It's a stalemate. It could be you. It could be them. But if your intuition is telling you, Scorpio, to reach out, um, do it because this person is open to talk. It's open to, um, open the, they're open to resume the missed opportunity. You've got here the Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing O and letter, letter O, letter N, letter T, letter R, letter L, significant in here. Um, yeah, it's a right timing. There's a letter A as well. All right? So that's the first reading. The second reading, Scorpio, is you've got the Ten of Swords. Wow. And then the Eight of Cups. Someone has hurt you in the past, big time. Um, for some of you, this is the month of August, September, and October month. 
they're ready to face you and um, clear things up with you. There's been a complicated situation connected with this person and they're willing to go back and talk about the complication, the issue in order to resolve it and move forward. Because you've got the Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups. They can no longer take being, they feel overwhelmed. They think and they think and they think of you and they're overwhelmed because they cannot resolve the issue alone. Because this is this person is looking at the Seven of Cups. They cannot understand their feelings or it's something to do with their overwhelm. And in order to sort out this overwhelming feelings is to talk to you, Scorpio. So I see them calling and texting you to talk about possibly how they hurt you, disappointed you. And in that conversation, they will explain to you why they did that, possible sorry. There's a lot of conversation that would take place. But it is going to the root cause of why you separated, disconnected, why you fight. And then eventually come up with a clear outcome. An outcome, a resolution. It could be a, you know, a proper goodbye or it could be a closure. But it is something of an outcome. You will feel release with, you know, questions and feelings and blocked energy um, connected with this person. Because this person... Their energy is blocked as well because they haven't really talked to you about these feelings. So they're coming back, reaching out to talk about, you know, um, f confusing feelings they have for you. It's it's a feeling that um, we break up, but I still think of you. We break up, we're not talking, but I still worry about that we have this unfinished business. So something is going to come out to light to talk about stuff, okay? Um be open-minded because there would be criticism between you and them. But remember, the goal is to compromise. If you love this person, if you're interested, if you like them, then your aura, your energy should be forgiving, forgetting, and releasing all the negative energy. And because the conversation, the outcome, will also depend on you, on how you react, on how you communicate. If they feel that you are compromising then this would go romantic again if not this is a closure okay so that's the second reading and then the third reading you've got the seven of wands in reverse the three of swords this is a third party reading if you're dealing with cancer scorpio or pisces scorpio this is a third party so they're willing to get rid of the third party for you um yeah six of wands look at that the magician card Someone is going to reach out. Someone is going to approach you. They will not be direct on their plan, but they will approach you. They will resurface six of wands, you know. This person is a go-getter. They will get your attention. They will communicate with you. And then when you, when you, um, you will have a conversation about a third party or multiple dating. If you ask them direct, directly, they will be very blunt and tell you that, hey, I've gotten rid of my third party, the multiple dating. I'm here. They're very proud of um, the energy that they're bringing forward because they're very single. Okay? Um, yeah, six of wands. They really want to be, they really want to approach you. And it, it's coming loud and proud. Like, hey, Scorpio. Yeah, you can, you know, you can scrutinize me on my past. Like, you can sting me now slap me um punch me um i can take it because i'm done with my past i'm done with my third party i'm done with multiple dating i'm here six of wands i'm done with my losing battle because the six of wands this is victory but um they they feel victorious if they reach you out like there's something being with you is victorious and they lose the battle but coming to you is victorious okay so they are feeling proud that they got rid of the old habit old third party negative energy but they're feeling victorious it's they feel lost when they chose the third party multiple dating or when they were exploring they didn't get any value with that the winning that they get is that after all this six months six weeks you are still the one, Scorpio. And I'm coming towards you. Victory. Okay?
So this is your reading. Thank you, Scorpio, for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. I hope you liked the reading. I hope you support it, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.